I am so excited, y'all, about this uh, series of videos that I'm going to be making, uh, making a Thanksgiving dinner. And I'm going to go each video, day one, day two, video one, video two. And we're just going to be going over the basics of putting just a, a good, simple Thanksgiving dinner on your table. Now, there's a lot of us that are seasoned cooks that have put plenty of uh, Thanksgiving uh, menus on the table, but there's still a lot that need that extra help or have never done it. So I've had people ask me a lot of questions about cooking turkey, making dressing, just the whole overall Thanksgiving dinner. So I thought I'd do a weekly, uh, just day by day, uh, probably five days of putting a Thanksgiving meal on your table, just to help those that need that little bit of help and to give maybe y'all some different ideas. But like I said, it's just gonna be a simple, nothing fancy, Nothing that's going to have you go out to the store and spend a ton of money to make each dish because we all know that that's just not affordable, especially these days and times. We all need that help. So, anyways, down below in my description box, I'm going to be putting a series of different videos that I've done last year about this time uh, for Thanksgiving. And one of them was cooking a turkey. And the way that several years that I've been cooking a turkey is cutting that turkey up and roasting in the oven. And what that does is it takes about half the time off of cooking that turkey. And it just gets that turkey so, it just ends up so moist, so juicy, and the skin is so crisp on every piece from your drumstick to your thigh to your chicken breast. So, uh, and of course my favorite, the chicken wing. So just those different uh, videos I'll be putting down below for y'all. But this time I've had a lot of requests on people saying, I'm just gonna be cooking a turkey breast. So what I'm gonna do is show y'all how I cook a turkey breast in the slow cooker. And that's gonna help you too. It's gonna help you give you oven space for other things you need to be cooking in there. and it, it puts out such a good moist turkey breast and you can just season it up the way you want to but i'll be showing you what i use on mine and uh, you put it in your slow cooker and you can either put it in the night before you know if you're gonna say you're gonna eat about noon or so and put it in you know like the night before it'll be done by noon get up really early in the morning it'll be done by noon or say you're gonna have your thanksgiving supper later that afternoon around five or so so you get up in the morning you put turkey breast slow cooker and you can go on with your day making your pies your dressing just whatever and it's going to be more and it's going to be good so we're going to get started on making our turkey breast i've got a seven pound turkey breast here now it depends on how many people y'all are going to be feeding so you got to go by that um I'm not sure because I have several kids that a lot of times work on the holidays. You know, it's their time to work, so I never know for sure. But this is a seven pound, that's just what I'm gonna do for right now. Uh, when it comes to uh, Thanksgiving Day, it'll probably be a bigger <laughs> turkey breast. But this is what we're gonna deal with right now. And this might be the perfect size if you just have a, you know, small family that you're gonna be feeding. And I can tell you, <clears throat> leftovers are delicious so if you have any so what i've done is i've just rinsed off my turkey breast and what i'm going to do is i've got a stick of butter in here now i always tell everybody season your food the way you like it but when i get on him give a recipe this is just a lot of times the seasonings that we prefer so what i've got here is i've got a stick of butter and it's at room temperature, so it's good and soft. And I've got, for my garden, I grow a lot of herbs. That is the, the number one thing that I love to do in my garden is to grow all my herbs. And this is some um, parsley out of the garden. I'm just gonna take a good 
tablespoon. Put some fresh, it's not fresh, it's dried, but it's fresh. Parsley in there. I've got some rosemary. This rosemary I grew in the garden. And what I do to my rosemary is I like to grind it up in my spice grinder. <clears throat> Danny, <laughs> Mr. Brown does not, he loves rosemary, but he doesn't like the little sticks, is what he calls them. <clears throat> and I know I've got grandkids, they'll say, what is some little sticks in there, Nanny? So what I do is I grind my rosemary up. So I'm going to put about a teaspoon of rosemary in there. It smells so good. I've got some lemon thyme that I grew in the garden and that I grind up. And I've got a bunch more that I could fill my little jar up. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of that in there. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of garlic, more or less. Y'all know how much I love my garlic. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of salt, about a half a teaspoon or more of pepper. Now I'm also going to take me some paprika. I hardly ever cook any kind of chicken that I don't use paprika on it. I love paprika on my turkey or my chicken. So we're going to put a teaspoon of paprika in there. And that's all I'm going to use. Now, if there's something else that you'd love to use on your turkey and your chicken, you just go right ahead and put it in there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stir this up and make a good paste out of it. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring y'all up closer so y'all can see how I do my turkey breast. Okay. Y'all can see that my skin right here has got a little bit of hole in it, and I've done that myself. That was an accident. But what you're going to do is you're going to take that skin, and you're going to take one of your hands, I'm going to turn it around this way, and you're just going to pull. You're going to pull that up, and you'll have to work your way through there because you got where well, you got to work under that skin. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take this butter paste and all that seasoning, and you're going to put it in underneath the skin. So I'm going to try to go as far as I can, but I done put a little bit of hole in it, but that's no big deal. That's not going to hurt nothing. I'm just going to get it down in there because I want to get that butter and stuff down in that breast as far as I can. And we always need to make sure that we keep our hands clean working with any kind of poultry. Okay, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our paste and we're gonna go under here and we're gonna stick it down in there and just kind of rub it down in there like you're giving it a good massage. That way that butter and all them seasonings I'll be down under that skin and it'll be on top of that breast meat. Now the one thing you want to do too is to make sure after you rinse your turkey or even a chicken that you dry it off good because your seasons and stuff won't stick to it as good if it's wet. So I'm just going to kind of pat that down like that and just keep Rubbing that breast all the way around. When I put this in my slow cooker or my crock pot, whichever you have, and my slow cooker is a six quart. It's a six, maybe a six and a half. So you want to get it down in there really, really good. <clears throat> Most of my kids and my grandkids love the white meat. Danny and I prefer the wing and the, you know, if we're cooking a whole turkey, the wing and the drumstick. I think Danny likes the thigh. Most everybody 
just loves the breast. So I've got that on there good. And what I'm gonna do right now is try to get as much of this off as I can. And then I'm gonna put it on the outside, on the skin, and all the way around. And I know this is a messy job, but somebody's gotta do it. This is what you call putting love into all that cooking. When everybody sits around and they take that bite and they're just like, oh, that's so good. And it makes you proud that people will sit down and enjoy your cooking. <clears throat> so it's about this simple. It is messy, but it's this simple. And if you don't want to uh, mess with with uh, touching your poultry, put you get you some uh, food grade gloves and keep them in your kitchen. So I'm gonna wash my hands real good. Okay, now all we got left is, um, I'm just gonna put a little more seasoning on top of my skin here. I'm gonna put just a little more salt. That will help dry out that skin a little more and make it just that much uh, where it's maybe not as, of course it's gonna be in slow cooker, it's not gonna be in your oven, but it's gonna help it not be so, uh, you know, it's gonna be moist, of course. Now you can cook, you can turn that breast upside down, which is what I'm gonna do, and put it in slow cooker. I have put breast side up, so that, uh, you know, the skin and everything is not down in the, and the broth so much. But to me, the breast side down is the best. That meat is gonna be just so tender and it's gonna soak up all them seasonings and all that goodness. But that's up to you. I'm gonna put just a little bit more pepper. I'm even gonna put just a little bit more thyme because I hope, I love thyme. Maybe just a little bit more rosemary up there on top and skin. Now, all we're gonna do is get our slow cooker dish. And I'm gonna take this breast and I'm gonna turn it upside down. I'm not gonna put anything in here uh, you can put maybe you can put you a little bit more butter in here if you want to put butter all the way around your slow cooker pan just whatever you feel like doing but what I'm gonna do is take my breast turn it upside down now what you got is the bottom part of your breast which still has meat on it so I'm gonna wash my hands again And I'm going to season the bottom side, too. Some more salt. If you can't use salt, don't use salt. You can use your Mrs. Dash if you have to. When you have to watch your salt intake. <clears throat> Pepper. Rosemary. Some thyme. And some more parsley. Now look at this, you're thinking now that lid's not gonna go down. So if you have to, 
you can take a knife and cut this part of your back um, underneath right here of the backbone. Cut it off and just stick it down in there because you want all this because you're going to end up with some broth uh, for your gravy or whatever. Now without your dark meat you're not going to have as much broth and you're not going to have the the richness that you would have if you were cooking the dark meat in here. But it's still going to be good all, overall. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lid on this. We're going to put it in the, uh, the slow cooker, and I'm gonna turn it on low for eight hours. I'm gonna let it cook for eight hours. At this point, you can put you some more butter in here. You can put you a little bit of soy sauce in the bottom. Just whatever you'd like. You can put you just maybe just a little bit of chicken broth if you're afraid it's not gonna have enough broth for you. That's all up to you. You have all these options. So anyways, let's get this in the slow cooker. It's going to be wonderful, and it's going to be easy. You won't have to worry about it anymore. You can go on with making your pies and all your side dishes. And y'all can see that I ended up cutting that little piece of backbone off there. My lid, it fit on there, but it was pretty tight. So I decided to go ahead and cut that little bit of back off. Went ahead and after I'd done that, you can see it exposed some more of that breast. So I went ahead and seasoned it up too. And like I said, you can put more butter or broth, soy sauce, anything in the bottom of this pot that you wish. So now we're just gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna put it on for eight hours. And uh, it'll be good and done and juicy. And uh, we'll be back, see how it turns out. <laughs> my house, my little cabin smells wonderful. This turkey breast has been cooking for eight hours and it's smelling so good. Looking good. The broth inside here looks rich, looks good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take take my dish out of here I'm gonna set this out of the way and we're gonna take our turkey breast out I can smell the the lemon thyme I can smell the rosemary it just all comes together and it's just to me it's just one of the best smells now y'all remember that I put it breast down in here so it's been the breast has been in this broth cooking it made quite a, it made more broth than really I thought it was going to but with the breast being down in there you can see the skin's not of course not going to be crispy but what it's going to do it's going to give you a wonderful wonderful moist chicken breast and I'm going to take out, this was part of the, the backbone. And that right there being down in there really helped make that broth really rich. And I'm going to get all the, the little bones and some of the skin that's come off. Now what I'll have to do is I will strain this broth. And we're going to make us some really good uh, turkey gravy to pour over all this chicken breast. So we got our breast out. I'm going to put this over here out of the way. And what I think I'm going to do is, even though it's still hot, and you can just take those bones just right out of there. No problem. You see how they're just going to, that's how tender this breast is. It's just going to lift right out of there. And there you got your two breasts. Make sure you get that wishbone out. And let the kids pull on that. And just kind of take that 
some of that skin and stuff out. I need to get me a, hang on, a paper towel. For my hands. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these breasts. And it is still hot, yes. <laughs> Y'all going to be getting on to me, Miss Lori. Why are you doing that? I want to keep that breast together. And put it over here on my plate. Because there's a certain way that I like to cut the chicken breast up. But it's, it's so tender, it's just not going to really hold together that well. But good enough. I'm going to bring y'all up here closer so y'all can see how beautiful and how tender this white meat is. This, you know, chicken breast, turkey breast. And I might keep, I might be saying chicken breast, but uh, it can be so dry. And so can turkey breast when you're cooking a big old turkey. But I grant you, this will not be dry at all. So I'm just going to take some of that skin off there. Well, I'm going to take all of it off. I just, I just really don't. If it was a crispy skin, and what you can do, if you're like me and like to eat the skin, you could leave it on there, take it out of your slow cooker, and put it in a, a baking dish, and put it in your oven or under the broiler for just long enough to crisp that skin up just a little bit. Uh, it may not do it real well, but it would crisp it up a little bit because it's got a lot of moisture in it. This right here, Mr. Brown will eat. That's uh, part of that back. I'm going to leave that for him. He can munch on it. But you can tell the difference between the skin because these little back pieces were not upside down in the broth. So you can see they got uh, a good scald on them. They get, they're not crispy, but you could, uh, you could eat that if you like the skin. So anyways, I'm going to leave that for Mr. Brown because I know he's going to want that dark meat. Not much there, but it's enough. I'm going to set that to the side. Set those bones to the side. And there's your slow cooker turkey breast. Now I'm going to bring y'all in closer because I want y'all to look at how moist and how we're going to cut this up. Because you want to cut your turkey breast against the grain just like you do most meats. And y'all see that? See how tender it is? Now what you want to do with your turkey breast is, you know, take your breast out and try to keep it together just like that. And what you want to do is you want to cut it against the grain. And sometimes it don't want to cooperate and it'll try to shred on you. You need to let it sit just probably longer than what I had before you cut it. But I just wanted to show y'all how tender it is. It's just going to melt in your mouth. And with all them seasonings, it's just going to have a wonderful, wonderful flavor. But you really do need to let it sit just a little while before you cut it. Okay, there's our turkey breast all cut up, and I took that good turkey broth, and I have been just basting this breast with all that goodness, that butter, all the seasonings, 
and you're going to have yourself a really good moist chicken breast right there that has a lot of flavor to it. Low and slow. It tastes wonderful. And I tell you, it's such a help in the kitchen. Slow cooker, um, what it does is it kind of makes you kind of hands free of, of trying to get that turkey in the oven, keep it basted, you know, constantly, you know, washing it, watching the temp on it. And then you don't have the oven space to make your, your, of course, you're going to have pies in there. You're going to have Miss Lori's hot rolls <laughs> in there. You're going to have dressing. So you need room in that oven. So putting this in your slow cooker, putting it on low and letting it cook for eight hours. And it just comes out wonderful every time. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry. Oh, is my, is my turkey breast going to be uh, dry? You know, what is it going to be? It turns out good every time. Now, you may not can cut it up as pretty as you would if it's still on the whole bird and slice it up, make it look beautiful. But uh, nevertheless, it's going to taste beautiful. So anyways, there it is. And it tastes wonderful, wonderful, I can tell y'all. I can taste the thyme, the rosemary, that butter. just It just melted into that breast. And it just, it's a good turkey. I hope y'all like this video. And I hope it gives y'all some ideas of a quick, easy turkey breast on Thanksgiving. It's going to be wonderful, I guarantee you. Um, now, last year at this time, I did a video on cooking a whole turkey. But what I've done is I cut the whole turkey up just like you would cut up a chicken for frying. And I spread it all over on a, uh, a cookie sheet lined with foil, and that's how we cooked and roasted our turkey, our whole turkey. And I tell you, it is one of the best ways. Mr. Brown just loves when I cook turkey that way. But I had a lot of people that said, Miss Lori, all I want to cook is the turkey breast this year. So that's what we've done today. So either recipe, I think you're really going to love it. Now, if you're still liking you know, cooking a whole turkey, you like doing it the old-fashioned way, you just go right ahead because they are delicious. Um, but I tell you what I'm going to do. Down in my description box, I'm going to leave several of last year's uh, Thanksgiving recipes down there. There'll be links down there that you can go to. Uh, there'll be several desserts and, like I said, my other uh, method of cooking a whole turkey so y'all can go down there and check them out. But this is just day one of our week-long uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Like I said, there's, there's just some people that are so intimidated, but they really want to put a simple Thanksgiving dinner on the table. So I, help, I hope this does help them. And, uh, you know, Thanksgiving this year, I think people are just like, they're, they're either not looking forward to it or they're looking very forward to it because uh, we're ready to see our family. We're ready to get together and, uh, and share a feast together, talk together, and, uh, you know, be a family. And that's, that's my hope, too. So, our next video will be day two of this Thanksgiving dinner and it's going to be our dressing, our cornbread dressing. Now I do have an old video of that, but sometimes I think when some of your videos are that old, sometimes you really do need to revise them. So I will be doing another video. The next one you see will be on your cornbread dressing. And then we'll just go on from there. We're going to do some side dishes and we're going to do some desserts. And probably a fruit salad somewhere in there. I'm going to try to get that in in about five days. So I hope you all stay with me and watch for, for each video coming up. Um, I've had some people say that they're not getting my notifications. So if you're not getting my notifications, go back to uh, my channel. Go back to the home page. Subscribe again. And hit that bell one more time. Because sometimes things just get messed up. 
and uh, you don't get notifications. I have to do that a lot too myself with different channels because I'll be thinking, well, I ain't seen them in a while, and it's because I'm not getting the notifications. And it just happens sometimes, but just go back, uh, subscribe again, and hit that bell, like I said. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Share it. Share it with anybody you can. So we'll see you here in a couple of days for the next video. Well, it'll be the next day. I'm not going to be waiting. I'm not going to make y'all wait two days in between each video. So y'all hang with me. Try this turkey breast. And uh, I'll put the recipe below too. So God bless everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow.